Well, this morning a Memorial Day parade took place in downtown Prineville. Hundreds showed up to honor and pay respects to those who gave their lives for America's freedom. Blake Mayfield spoke with parade goers of all ages about why they were there. Blake? The parade started on 4th Street before ending at the Ochico Creek Park. And while the parade does honor those who have fallen in service to their country, it's also inspired many in the next generation to serve. I want to join because if I want to serve, I can serve. On Memorial Day morning in Prineville, it seemed most of the town turned out to remember those who died serving the nation. Representatives from the Prineville VFW Auxiliary and the American Legion dropped a wreath into Ochico Creek at the conclusion of the parade to honor those who have died in battles at sea. I asked some parade attendees about why they wanted to be on hand. I think just to get the chance to honor the men and women that died for our country and they gave their lives for us and we, we owe it to them to come out and recognize that. I like seeing the veterans turning out with their service medals and their hats and just you can see on their faces that they're not going to tell those stories but they hold the memories dear and I honor them for that. Some of the younger parade goers were inspired by what they saw, heard and felt. There's like not that much people that want to serve but there is people that want to serve good people out there that would go into the war to fight for the country. I'm going into the army with my brother. An army tank seemed to have caught the eye of some young parade watchers. I would probably want to like run tanks, run tanks and learn how to fix tanks. It's like kind of a mechanic working the armor forces. Well, my brother likes army and I saw an army tank. For some, Memorial Day weekend marks the start of summer. For many in Prineville and across the high desert, the day represents what courage looks like. The whole town turned out. Folks come from all over the place. And the children come and they show their little ones what we are about and why these things are important. And it's a, it's a beautiful day. We had a great turnout, lots of people. We have a dedication to them over in the park. So just a great day to give honor to people that deserve it. After the parade, a service at the Juniper Haven Cemetery took place, along with a ceremony at the Crook County Fairgrounds. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.